What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be featuring the brand new Pokemon Iron Crown. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was sent in by a viewer, Justin. Huge shout out for you. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. But he did inform me that he did not make this team. This team was actually made by somebody that goes by the name of Giordi. So huge shout out to both of you guys. Thank you guys so much for the team. But uh, Iron Crown's new Pokemon returning into this game. And I'm super excited to actually be using this this team right here because you got iron crown and they also have a top tier returning swim pokemon or i should say rain pokemon kingdra so we should be able to get the best of both worlds in today's video showcasing both of them and grabbing you guys some wins at the same time but the first pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be indeedy indeedy is going to be great because it's a support pokemon plus it can pair up with iron crown considering iron crown is expanding force and is a psychic type indeedy has got psychic surge with the rocky helmet as item and it's rocking dazzling gleam Follow me, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. In our second slot is the brand new Pokemon, Iron Crown, with Quirk Drive and the Booster Energy as its item. It's Steel and Psychic type with the Water Terror type, and the move set consists of Expanding Force, the brand new move Tachyon Cutter, Focus Blast, and Protect. In our third slot is going to be our Rain Setter. It is going to be Pelipper with Drizzle and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Hurricane, Helping Hand, Tailwind, and Protect. In our fourth slot is a top tier Swift Swim Pokemon, and that is going to be Kingdra. It's got Swift Swim, like we already mentioned, with the Life Orb as its item, and we got Muddy Water, Scald, Draco Meteor, and Protect for its four moves. And our fifth slot is going to be Old Reliable. Iron Hands, always so good no matter what team it's on. It's got Quirk Drive with the Assault Vest, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Fake Out, and Heavy Slam. In our final slot, we're rocking out with Choice Scarf Landorus with Intimidate, and like I already said, Choice Scarf as its item. Stop a tantrum, Terra Blast, you turn Rock Slide. You guys seen this landers plenty of times on the rank ladder in previous regulations. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Look to showcase Iron Crown and Kingdra in regulation F. First match coming at you guys for today's video, and we're going up against an Iron Crown team. So I'm using Iron Crown in this battle. They're using Iron Crown. They also have a nice little weather control with Exedrill and T-Tar. So that's something we got to watch out for and probably bring in our Pelipper, right? Just to kind of grant that weather control and try to keep it on our side and not give them that advantage. They also have Suicune, who's a new returning Pokemon. It's going to be really strong. And then they got Indeedee and Ogre Pond. So from here, I'm thinking we just go into Indeedee and Iron Crown. I think that's a solid little lead here. And then as like back end Pokemon, we just go in with a rain squad, right? Try to get that weather control that way. I kind of like it a lot. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But Indeedy and Iron Crown are going to be such a good combo in regulation F. Considering, like I said, you can just set the terrain and expand in force. That has been such a good combo ever since it's been released into this game. With uh, Arm Rouge and Indeedy since like season one. So people have been using expanding force in Indeedy like crazy and now Hatterene gets expanding force and iron crown gets introduced in the game you're gonna get a lot of expanding force pokemon but out comes ogre pond and suicune and i think suicune does on snarl which could be a slight issue right could definitely be a slight issue but i think we might just want to go helping hand expanding force here right especially with my booster energy i'm gonna get speed heightened yeah and I i'm so down for it i'm so down to just go helping hand into expanding force it's just easily the, the simplest play right hopefully they don't swap or anything and they don't and we're just gonna be able to get off a big time expanding force from iron crown so iron crown gonna get ripped in here spiky shield is gonna come out here that's totally fine you can pop a nice lovely spiky shield and we're gonna hit hard onto the suicune who's actually rather bulky on the special defense side so iron crown coming out here Boom, baby. Big time damage onto Suicune. Like I said, very bulky. And Snarl is now coming out here. And I knew that was going to happen. Nice, lovely Snarl. The Snarl comes flying out here. Snarl is just an issue. We have to get rid of that. Uh, we have to get rid of this Suicune before we do anything. We have to get rid of this Suicune before we do anything. So from here, I'm just going to go for Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to double, double up damage. And I'm just going to throw another Expanding Force his way. Hopefully Suicune isn't protecting. But if it is, I mean, we're still going to be able to hit up on Ogre Pond. But I have to get rid of Suicune before I can really do anything. And I, and they withdraw Suicune. So they're probably going to go into a Dark type. Maybe T-Tar. Yeah, T-Tar's going to come out here. So luckily, I am Dazzling Gleaming on top of this. 
because Expanding Force is not going to touch the T-Tar. But it will hit the Ogre Pond, which I like. It will hit up on the Ogre Pond. So we get off some nice damage on the Ogre Pond. Ivy Cudgel going to come out here. You should be able to soak this, Didi. You do. Awesome. Didi with the big time soak. Dazzling Gleam comes out here, and it's not doing like, any damage right now. It is not doing any damage. So from here, I want to swap Ndidi. Or not Ndidi. I really want to swap, what's it called? Iron Crown into probably Pelipper, just to get the uh, rain going. And kind of go from there, right? At this point, I probably just follow me the shots, right? Follow me, go into a nice, lovely Pelipper swap. Yeah, I'm about it. I'm all about it. So I'll withdraw the Iron Crown. I'll take its stats back to normal. We'll bring out Pelipper. We'll set the rain. And I can bring out Kingdra after Ndidi dies here from his follow me. Okay. It might end up withdrawing uh, T-Tar too, so maybe do I withdraw the Pelipper here? We'll see. We'll see. Follow me comes out here. Ivy Cudge is going to come through. I'm just going to take out the Indeed. Get a crit. We gotta watch out for you. We have to watch out for you. Iron Crown's going crazy. It's going crazy. Crunch is going to fly through here, and it is going to land. Oh, that's some big time damage. It's a little too much damage. So I could go into Kingdra. I could go into Kingdra. Should I go into Kingdra? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Kingdra here. And from here... This is tough. This is tough. Do I just set up maybe, like... Do you have Tailwind Pelper? Dude, do I set up a Tailwind here? I'm thinking of just attacking. I'm just gonna attack with Muddy Water. I'm just going to set up a Tailwind if I can. He's up withdrawing the T-Tar. So T-Tar gets a withdrawal. You're probably going back into Suicune, right? Yeah, Suicune comes back out here. So annoying. It's just such a good Pokemon. And Spiky Shield's going to pop. So we get off this Tailwind, which is rather massive. It is rather massive. And let's see how much damage this Muddy Water's going to do here. Muddy Water's not doing bad damage at all. Not bad damage at all. We get the accuracy drop. We have the Tailwind out and about now. So we get a little bit of speed control on our side. So that's huge whether they have weather or not. So from here, um, I could see them swapping Ogre Pond back into T-Tar. I could see them swapping Suicune back into T-Tar just to get weather control. And I think from here, what do we even do? Do we Skull this slot? I could Draco Meteor this slot. And I think we do that. I think we Draco Meteor and Hurricane here. Or I can swap Pelipper into Iron Crown. That's not a bad turn right here. No, I think we just still attack. Because they're going to swap. And I think we just have to keep the pressure on. And then we can swap Pelipper potentially next turn into Iron Crown. We'll see. Because Weather Control is going to be massive this game. It's going to be so massive. This is such a good first battle for today's video. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So we're going to see what they do. Again, we have a lot of Weather Control. We have a lot of weather control. I'm going to drop the special attack onto, uh, onto Kingdra here, but that's fine. We get rid of Suicune, so that's massive. Pelipper should be able to outspeed here. And it should be able to just get rid of Ogre Pond, right? And it does. Cool. So Ogre Pond is gone. So my plan here is they're probably throwing out extra drill T-Tar, right? Makes the most sense. So I'm thinking of swapping Pelipper and, and then like protecting the Kingdra. I mean Kingdra's minus two, which is ooh, it hurts, but it can still do some big time damage in the rain. So that's why I want to try to keep weather control on my end. And plus they got Excadrill coming out here. So the Exki Excadrill comes out here. Um, huh? I want to see if I can get like a double swap going, right? I would love to swap Pelipper here, and then maybe like swap you next turn. But we'll see. I'm just going to end up protecting you. I'm going to swap Pelper into Iron Crown. That's my play. So hopefully they're doubling down into Kingdra. Kingdra's a big time threat. But I can see them attacking the Pelper slot. So like I said, I don't want Iron Crown to go out when I swap into Pelper here. Because I would love to swap Kingdra out. And get its stats back to normal. And then just start spamming like Muddy Waters or Scolds. Stuff in that nature. But we'll see. They got the T-Tar Exodrill combo out here. We get to bring out the Iron Crown, and Iron Crown could actually get some work done. Especially with one more turn left in Tailwind, so that's why I would just love... I would love to have Iron Crown for another turn here. But I still have Terror Type as well. They're getting Terrastalize here, and it's probably going to be maybe Extra Drill here? 
No, it's gonna be T-Tar. I was gonna say maybe extra drill ground type for EQs. And T-Tar is gonna go into a flying type. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And extra drill is gonna protect, so we'd like this turn. We'd like this turn a lot. We like this turn a lot. Hopefully you're going after my Kingdra. Hopefully you were attacking my Kingdra slot. Let's see how this one plays out here. Just for a crunch into Iron Crown, and that hurts, man. That hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. I really want it. Ah, oh, the swap Kingdra next turn. But you know what? That's fine. At least we're going to be able to get some weather control. I think Kingdra can still do a nice chunk of damage in the rain with Muddy Water. And Pelipper. Hmm. What are we doing here? We could double down into Extra Drill here. Could definitely double down into Extra Drill. I do have Terror Type in the water, and that's probably going to be my best bet. Just to do that, and then do a Hurricane and double down into Extra Drill. Because Extra Drill could be Focus Ash. It could definitely be Focus Ash. I do have Helping Hand here as well. But I think I just double down to Extra, right? Yeah, I'm going to double down into Extra Drill, because if it's not Sash, it might just die out to this. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to double down into Extra Drill here. I still think Muddy Water is doing so much damage here with the Terror type water now in the rain stab. I know we're minus two on special attack, but still, still Muddy Water should do a nice chunk of damage here. We'll see. Extra is not that bulky on special defense either, so let's see. Let's see how this one plays. Muddy Water flying. Can you just KO the Extra Drill? It does. Beautiful. So that KOs Extra. We get the accuracy drop on T-Tar, and now Hurricane's going to slide over, which is massive. That is massive. That is massive. So Hurricane flying through here. Give me the ducks as well. Give me the ducks. Oh, we get the ducks. Oh, baby. We get the ducks. So he's confused. Accuracy's dropped. We pretty much just need like one more turn here. And he's going to land a double rock slide. With the accuracy drop? Get on out my face with that. Get on out my face with that. Crazy. That is crazy. I'm hoping the Skull can just finish this thing off. Our Tailwind's gone, but King's just still outspeeding. So what would actually do more? Scald would actually do more because of all the boosts we have. I'm going to go into a Scald here. Can we finish this match off? Go, Kingdra. That a girl. Kingdra clutching up. Clutching up in match number one. Showcasing Kingdra in match number one. And we use Iron Crown a little bit. We'd like to use Iron Crown a bit more in match number two. So let's go hop over there and look to start off this video 2-0. Second match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Metagross team. Pretty cool squad right here. They actually have a few Dark-type Pokemon. I really wanted to go into Iron Crown, but I don't know if I want to anymore. They got a few Pokemon that kind of just counter its typing, right? They have T-Tar, they got Weavile, Mandibuzz, I believe, is Dark, isn't it? I think it's Flying and Dark. And then they got Extra Drill to pair up with the T-Tar, Stone Journer, and uh, Metagross. Metagross is such a good Pokemon, but Weather Control... Definitely going to be our friend. We definitely want to get in some sort of weather control. So I might end up leading Pelipper, or I can just like lead Iron Hands and Kingdra and bring Pelipper in the back end. And that looks like the best bet, right? That does look like the best bet. I do have Landers, who's actually pretty solid here, and that's actually who I'm going to bring in here. So we're going to bring in these four Pokemon. We're not going to bring in Iron Crown or in DD in match number two. And I think uh, in the third and final match, we'll try to look to uh, use Iron Crown a bit more. But a Pokemon that I want to showcase in the next video, I believe I'm going to try to showcase Hydrapple new pokemon with uh it's a uh, diplin's evolution and that pokemon looks so sick in my opinion i'm super excited to actually be using it if you guys do have teams for me that you want me to showcase on my youtube channel make sure you leave them down in the uh, comment section down below with the rental codes or do me one better hit me up over on twitter either dm me the code or uh reply to one of my tweets with the codes but um they got mandibuzz they have metagross out here and i believe manic buzz is dark right yeah okay it is dark so we got Metagross, which is stealing Psychic, and Mandibuzz out here on the field. And I think from here, we could just straight up fake out Mandibuzz. Maybe just start attacking. I know Metagross is a bit more of a threat. But I think... I think in this instance, we might just want to throw some damage over onto uh, Mandibuzz. Because Mandibuzz can set up Tailwind pretty easily. It can. It could be Cover Cloak as well, which would be so annoying. But Fake Out's going to come across here, right into the Mandibuzz. Skull is going to get ripping. He's going to do a decent amount of damage. And I get a burn. Oh, I get a burn. I get a big time burn. I get a big time burn on Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is going to flinch. Zen Headbutt's going to come through here. And we should be able to soak this, right? Yeah, we do end up soaking it. That's a pretty nice soak. So Leftover's going to pop out for you. Um, 
And from here... What's my play from here? The wild charge. I could just drain punch. Um, I definitely just want to protect. I'm just going to drain punch. Actually, I'm just going to wild charge to get rid of the mana buzz. Actually, mana buzz is burned. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to start attacking the metagross here. And I'm just going to protect Kingdra here. I kind of want to save Kingdra. For a time where I can get it out there with, with what's it called? With Pelipper. The Mana Buzz ends up setting up Tailwind. I'm not too worried about Mana Buzz, right? I mean, I am a little bit, but nothing crazy. Because it is burned. It's a physical attacker. Dream Punch is going to fly out here. Do a decent amount of damage. And we'll go from there. So I'm really thinking of just swapping into maybe like Lando here. Or I could go Pelipper and try to set up the Tailwind. But, I mean, if you're attacking me... Ah, it's just a little bit of an issue. It really is. So I'm going to just keep tackling on Drain Punches here. And I could double down. I could double down on you. I could go Terra Scald and swap in the rain. And you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to swap Iron Hands. Bring out Pelipper. And I'm going to Terrasalize. And I'm going to throw a Scald. Or I could go for this. I could go for Muddy Water. But I feel like I just want the accuracy boost, right? I just want I just want to make sure I'm hitting this this Metagross here. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I, I just gotta make sure I'm hitting this Metagross, because I feel like we should be able to KO with all these boosts right here. Cause like if I go for muddy water, 85 accuracy. Eh, eh, you can't really rely on that, right? You can't really rely on that. So I wanna I wanna go in the skull and I really wanna hope I can just KO this Metagross. Cause if I can get rid of Metagross, oh baby, we can be we can get, we can be going real good right now. They probably have T-Tar extra in the back end if I had to guess. They do have Tailwind set up. There's nothing crazy. Scald is going to be able to outspeed now. I know they have Tailwind. And again, we're hoping this is KOs. And it puts them on one HP. One? One HP. My king just able to survive this. One HP. Really? Really? One HP. So the thing is, Kingdra outspeeds both of these guys, which is massive. You might have Bullet Punch Metagross, which could get a little rough. But something I want to do right now is set up the Tailwind. And if I can land Muddy Water, that'd be a double kill. What HP on the Metagross? Come on now. There's Bullet Punch. I knew that was coming. Should've just swapped. Should've just swapped. But hey, that's fine. Amanda Buzz should not be able to do enough damage to KO Pelipper. Pelipper should be able to get off a Tailwind. And then I might just swap Pelipper into like Iron Hands next turn. Just to get things going. Yep, see, Pelper eats it up all day. Knock off my focus sash. It don't matter. We don't need it anymore. The tailwind comes out in about um Now it's time to probably go into Lando. Yeah, Lando's gonna be our call. Get out Lando here. Lando coming in hot. Now I'll bring out Lando. I got the choice scarf on him and what do I choice into? I kinda want to choice to a ground move. Because again, I think they have extra drill and T in the back end, so going into a ground move is going to I'm going to swap into Iron Hands here. Definitely feel as it's my best bet. And. I could go Rock Slide here. And that's, actually, I am going to go Rock Slide. And the reason I want to go Rock Slide is because I probably want to swap Lando too, anyway, to bring Pelipper back out there if they have T-Tar. I'm just assuming they have T-Tar. So if they have T-Tar. I'm probably gonna want to swap Lando anyway, so I might as well just go for Rock Slide and look for double KO here. And it's not doing a lot of damage to that Mana Buzz. It's a little wild. Not doing a lot of damage to that Mana Buzz at all. <clears throat> at all. Mana Buzz does flinch though, which is pretty massive. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. I'm surprised that Rock Slide didn't do that much damage. Let me see your EVs. Let me see your EVs. Lando, let me let me check you out real quick. That rock slide is really not doing that. I know it's not stab, but Mana Buzz might just be that bulky, you know. A lot of these Pokemon I don't really know their stats, but they're gonna end up going into Excadrill. Excadrill is gonna come out here. Um, let me see your stats, dude. What you got cooking? Oh, you're fully invested into attack. You have a high attack stat. I'm super surprised it didn't KO. 
But from here, this is just a simple fake out onto Exodro and a rock slide. Again, we're just looking to KO and force T-Tar out here. We knew they had T-Tar this whole time. You don't see Pelipper and Kingdra and not bring T-Tar. So we're trying to get their T-Tar out here, force them on the field, and then get Pelipper out there. They end up just withdrawing. Okay. I feel you. I understand. I feel you. I feel you. Out comes the fake out. Nice little damage. Not too shabby. And Rockside's going to connect as well. Which is going to do about like 4 damage. Okay, so from here, it's, we have to swap. We have to swap. I do have Heavy Slam. I do have Drain Punch. I'm going to go for Drain Punch into the drill. And I'm going to hard swap into Pelipper. I know they're probably going to hard swap T-Tar back. But I think if we could just start attacking this, uh, this, what's it called? This extra drill, we should be fine. We should be fine. Such good video. We're having some great battles today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content, man. Hopefully you guys are. Just some great battles. Weather Wars all day with Extra Drill T-Tar. Been loving it. I gotta use Iron Crown a bit more in match number three. But uh, King Joe's really just been playing great today. The hard swap back into the Pelipper. We get the range. Rain Punch now comes out here. Finishes off the Extra Drill. We have Weather Control for the rest of the match now. I thought they were going to swap T-Tar there. And that pretty much wraps it up. It pretty much wraps it up. Lovely. Lovely. You going for Rock Slide? You going to take him on Pelipper? You go for Stone Edge. That's fine. Pelipper did his job. We swap Pelipper just to get Weather Control. That's usually how it goes. It's whoever has Weather Control at the end of the battle. Most of the time, I should say like 80% of the time wins. So Weather Wars are just... They're always fun in my opinion. You just have to swap and play it right. But out comes... Back comes out Mandibuzz. And I'm not worried about Mandibuzz. Physical Attacker burned. No problem. I'm going to bring out Lando Lando. And I don't think they use their Terra. T-Tar could have Flying Terra, which could get real ugly. It could get real ugly. But you know, I'm going to Drain Punch and... I'm just going to go into Rock Slide. Because to be honest with you guys, if it does have Flying Terra, Rock Slide will be super effective onto it. But if it doesn't, then we just then we just rip on it with uh, Iron Hands. It's going to be a Rock Terra. Alright, so straight Rock Terra coming out here. That's fine. Iron Hands should be able to clean that up, no problem. Good old Iron Hands. Rock Slide, it's going to miss T-Tar. It misses T-Tar, but it kills the Banda Buzz, big time. Okay, so, maybe we should have chosen the Stomping Tantrum. That's fine. Drain Punch is still going to come out here. Iron Hands just ripping into that and putting it on, like, 10 HP. <clears throat> the T-Tar, oh, oh, hold up. Hold up. T-Tar's rocking the policy. Oh, this could actually get real close. Stone Edge coming out here. Oh, no. This is actually getting... This is getting scary because doesn't Tailwind end for us? If Tailwind ends for us, or is Iron Hands just outspeeding right now? Oh, no. Iron Hands is just simply outspeeding. Okay, cool. I was going to say. If we had Tailwind up and he outspeeds now, he can probably KO us with one move. Battle was canceled. 2-0. and oh, Let's go use Iron Crown in match number 3. Final match on its way, and it wouldn't be a casual ladder video if I was not going up against any legendaries. We're going up against Palkia in our third and final match. They also have Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond, obviously top tier. They got Archer Ludon, which I actually just showcased if you haven't checked out that video. Make sure you guys go check it out on the channel. They also have Klawitzer, um, Palkia, Basque Legion, and Malamar. Malamar is a dark type, but I think Indeedee and Iron Crown can get a lot of work done on a lot of different Pokemon. So I like these two as a nice little lead. And then in the back end, we could go Weather Control. Weather Control's not bad. I mean, Pelipper with Kingdra, I kind of like it. We do have the nice little Draco Meteor. We do have Skull. They do have actually a few water types. So maybe we just want to go into like Iron Hands here and Lando. I think that works best. We did already showcase Pelipper and Kingdra pretty well in today's video. So I think just going in with Lando and Iron Hands in the back end is going to be a little bit better for us. We got the Fake Out Control. We got the Choice Scarf. We got Intimidate. We, it's just a lot of a lot of better options, especially for the opponent that we're going up against. But looking to just rip up here with Iron Crown turn one. Maybe just helping hand expanding force. Always a solid option for us. We could always pop a Trick Room if you need be, but they're going to end up leading Archiludon and Palkia. Archiludon and Palkia. Okay, so it's a Steel and Dragon type, and it's a Water and Dragon type. Dude, Palkia's massive. It's so big. 
It looks so good this game. <laughs> it just looks so good this game. I think it's massive. It's just massive. Look at it standing next to people. It's absurd. So it could go for Gleam. Let me just make sure the typing is correct here, right? I know you're Water Dragon. I, I was thinking, yeah, Steel Dragon. Okay, so I'm correct on that still. Um, like I said, I could just go help in hand and just pop the Expanded Force if I want to. And I think that's going to be my play. I mean, Archer Luna, what are, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to attack the Palkia here. I just want to get off some nice damage on the Palkia. I know Palkia is rather bulky, but... I think Expanded Force can do some nice damage with Helping Hand. Which it does. Oh, that's some beautiful damage on the both of them. That's beautiful. Fire Blast now comes out here. That's scary. Doing a huge chunk of damage. And Flash Cannon coming in. And in. Actually, I think we're fine here. Just to pop another Helping Hand. Let's do it again. Let's do it again, because I outspeed both of them. And and this already showed that I can do enough damage to double KO. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm loving it. I'd love to beat this Palkia right here. Love a slap up on it. So now our opponent's thinking, like, dang, this dude's hitting hard. What should I do? And they end up just staying in, which is a little wild to me. So Iron Crown's going to say, bye-bye, Archaludon. Bye-bye, Palkia. Double down on the KO. Crazy strong damage there. Big time damage there. Now I kind of wish I had the rain squad in the back end. But it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I definitely wish I had the rain squad. Because I'd love like picking up two KOs with like front two. And then having rain squad just clean up everything else. Because rain squad's so good. Malmar's going to come out here who is a dark type. Can't use expanding force on that. But I could use expanding force on that. I mean, I have iron hands in the back end to kind of deal with that water type. So I'm thinking of just helping Handy again. Maybe just going with a Tachyon Blast, or Tachyon Cutter. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Use a signature move, just keep helping Handy this thing. <coughs> this thing is just ripping. He's just ripping. Oh my lord! Iron Crown! Chill out, dude. Chill out. KO and Malamar, no problem. This match is wraps. It is so wraps. Claude's just probably gonna KO my Iron Crown, which is a little upsetting. Unless we dodge that. We do dodge that. Let's go. Let's go. So, Indini's able to soak. And we will get a sweep out here with Iron Crown in the final match. Actually, are we going to sweep? Probably, right? Expanding Force should KO, right? I think it should. I think it should. And that's all we kind of needed in match number three. Just Helping Hand and Iron Crown. It just does so much damage. There's a KO, and there's a sweep in match number three. We go 3-0, showcasing this team really well. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0, another perfect record added onto the channel. But this team right here was phenomenal. You had Indeedee and Iron Crown. Two great Pokemon to pair up for a solid lead. And then you also had the other combo side of things with Pelipper and Kingdra, which we got to use a good bit in today's video as well. Just such a strong team, great combos, and great, great battles in today's mm. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, another 3-0 perfect record onto the channel. Absolutely love this team with two combos. You had Indeedee and Iron Crown, which we got to fully showcase in match number three. You kind of just throw them both out. Helping Hand Expanded Force does a lot of work, but Iron Crown's new signature move, Tachyon Cutter, was absolutely amazing. I, I really liked it. Never misses. Hits two times. Great all around, especially for, like, Mimikyu's or, like, any fairy type such as like Fluttermane really can do a lot of damage pick up some KOs but the other side of this team the Pelipper Kingdra we got to use as well super strong can never go wrong with the Swift Swim Kingdra always doing work with high special attack and high speed but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive today and I'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody